Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy S23 FE and today I will show you how you can put this phone into download mode. Now to get started you'll need to grab a cable so plug it into your computer and then have it ready. Next we're gonna turn off our device so swipe down twice and then select your power button and choose power off. And when the device turns off you want to hold volume up and volume down at the same time and while holding those two buttons you will simply plug it in. This will boot us into, well, first this warning page. Uh, so a custom OS can cause critical problems in phone and installed applications. If you want to download a custom OS, press the volume up key. Now, critical problems is what you're gonna get when you unlock the bootloader and uh, Samsung just gives you a middle finger by preventing you from using your device in the fullest potential, which you paid full price for, but you won't be getting full functionality of it anymore. I just want to mention this because Samsung nowhere here mentions that, for instance, you will lose camera access or your, uh, your uh, secure folder uh, or anything that is associated with NAX, your bank applications uh, or anything like that. So yeah, bye bye goes all of that when you unlock the bootloader. We're not even talking about installing custom OSs, we're just talking about unlocking it so we have more control over the device. So by having more control of the device, you have less control over it uh, idiotically. So just, just know that before you do anything associated with the bootloader and unlocking it. But in any case, I'm gonna press volume up to continue and this will take us to the download mode. So that is how you boot into it. Now, typically whatever you need this mode for will boot the device out of this mode automatically once it's finished needing it and doing whatever it was doing with it. Uh, but if you just want to leave it this mode without doing anything yourself, all you need to do is just hold, well, first we can unplug it, all you need to do is hold your volume uh, down button and power button at the same time for more than seven seconds, which is described right here. Once the screen turns off, you can let go of these two buttons and simply wait for the device to boot back up on its own. And as you can see, we are now back in Android. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.